Yep, it's been a good run here at Pompano Beach. And now we are headed out, leaving the big city, I guess you can call it. Yes, leaving the hustle and bustle of the big city. <laughs> and we are going to what we love to do. Oh yeah, now if you want to call Pompano Beach a big city, well, it's not too far from Miami, so I guess it's a big city. And we spent a lot of time down there also. Well, let's put it like this. It was a lot of people. I know. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to the left. Copy that left. And now we're going back into tranquility. Yep. Y'all know we're going to do some more camping. This is what we like the most. Going out there and enjoying some solitude. Fireplace. Yes, we did. Enjoying a free, 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 free. Free jazz concert with some big name people. But it's time for us to get back into what we love the most. And that is getting back in the wilderness, if you want to call what we're going wilderness. And I would I would say in this state is wilderness. Yeah. I would say. Nice pier over there. Child done a lot of good eating here too well up and down every day oh look at the blimp up there oh the blimp is out it's like the shape of a dolphin it does <laughs> from this angle anyway <laughs> the ah. bridge is out happy <laughs> oh it's going down so we all good yeah it went down so it was good here's the bridge Yeah, yeah, and got another boat. Look, look like they're gonna lift it up, coming in the opposite direction. Oh, I don't know what direction the first one. Ooh, dude, turn his whole head to see what you were riding. There you all on the curve. That's because she rushed out with that with that car coming. We should have Viper Six here. Bad drivers of Florida, <laughs> and actually Florida. Period is bad the drivers. Worst drivers in the country, from what I've seen. And I know, very I know people would say, exactly, very intrigued. I know people would say, well, I guess you ever been to L.A., people we from California. Or they would say, I guess you haven't ever ridden in heavy New York traffic. And yes, we have. But Florida. And it still wasn't bad like this. Let that, wave that car in front. Never mind. Go, go, speed up. I'll catch up. I can't speed up. Because I'm going to tell you, wave it in front of you. But Florida is just horrible. I'm not just talking about the traffic in general because we haven't been in any places where there's major, major congested traffic. I'm sure in the city, the big cities yeah. during just, work hours is, is congested. Just the, yeah, I was getting ready to say the normal working, getting off work or going to work right. hours. Right. They, they just don't know how to drive and they cut you off. They don't care. Very impatient. So I would say this. I would say this. If you a great motorcycle rider living in florida you basically earned that title exactly. <laughs> and i mean i mean great far as safety watching everything keep your head on the swivel using your mirrors everything riding in florida you have to be alert exactly i mean you have to be alert riding period but in florida extra alert For real. and aware of your surroundings For real. because they will come over on you while you in the middle of the lane yep but i don't know anyway we're doing actually a different setup today and show you a camp setup matter of fact we'll just record the whole setup because i know a couple of people ask about what right. about this and we just never use this setup we're going to do today oh they got a big big <laughs> visitor center gate i mean a uh, big entrance gate credit cards only now when we came down here we was visiting uh k Wright. You remember coming through all this? Neither do I. Maybe there's a different way to come. Long Pine, uh, Long Pine Key, that's the campground we're going to. It's six miles. Flamingo is 36 miles. We don't have to tell them nothing about camping. We just got to go to our spot and uh, check in with the campground host. Well, hello, hello, hello. How can I assist you today? Uh, oh, you got a park pass? Oh, there you go. Fantastic. And we go out to Long Pine Campground. Do we check in with the range? I mean, uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, we're not gonna give you a hard time. All right. So, yeah. 
actually give you uh, discounts on the camping because at Everglades we actually honor our veterans. Okay. okay. So just see if they'll give you a little bit of extra. Thank okay. you. I appreciate that. Have a fantastic time. All right. Take care, boss. Thank you. Safety. And when we were here before, we saw. Uh, uh, a lot of gators, but no panthers. Hopefully, we won't see none today or the time we're here. Our next 20 days are camping, but we're only camping here for five days. And this will be our first time camping in a national park. Yes, first time camping in a national park, even though we visit basically every national park there is a visit on land. This is not our first time camping in the national park. Okay, what other what other our park first, we canceling? Our, camping. Our first one was Shenandoah National oh, Park. Oh yeah, that's right. So okay. Yeah, because you, I, I remember because when you said getting something to show that we're camping right. in there, when we went through the front gate and went out through the back we gate, we had to show that, and they wanted to yes. see stuff again. So that's what made me think about camping in Shenandoah National right. Park. Right, and I was with tent camping. Well, Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I remember it now. And riding Skyline. Yep, I remember. Yes. Hello. All right, hold on. Let me get over this hump. <laughs> there we go. All right, we have a reservations. You need both of the license plates? Just one of them is fine. Okay. Do... Do, do we have an assigned spot or do we just pick we one? We do have you in a site. I will show you where that is before okay. I head, head you on your way. So okay. yeah, you'll stay on the road you're stay on. Stay on the road I'm on. Yes, ma'am, and they'll be in row I. I-49. Okay. I-49. Thank you. I started to say, can we switch it from 49 oh, to 48? <laughs> in the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> that's how that's too right. much. I, I don't Go know where we're going. Mm -hmm. I just know we're going to I. Go. Follow the road around. All right. We back to well, where we go. Back to <laughs> Loop A. So I guess they they all all the way on the left, straight down to I. Back to back to what we love. Oh, look at that lagoon over to the right. Oh man! I see it. We're getting close to that to that lagoon. Lagoon. Oh my on God! I, I love this. Close to the alligators. Close to the alligators. You turn. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness! This is. Oh man! We got to come here a lot. This is nice. Let's see. Now, why did she sign sign us to I? Because of what I put on that tent camping. Is I tent camping only, or you have no idea? Um, I I don't know. I'm going to find out. Oh, we man, we got to bring patches back here. And look, the greatest thing, everybody. You are riding on asphalt, so motorcycle camping, and we can get here on big gold wing with street tires. Yep, yep. You can yep, get here yep. on your bike. <laughs> and it looks like they got privacy, a lot of privacy between the two camps. None of them are, are not that deep, but yeah, they the do. pull throughs. Okay, I see, I see. Oh, hey, everybody. Okay. Oh. okay, H and one I more 49. is ours. 40 to 45. Yeah, tent camping. Tent, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Oh, this is nice. Okay, let's see what we're doing. Oh, wow. That's not a tent. That's an airstream. I know way in the back is tent camping. Okay, the, mark, the markers okay, are on the ground. So 49 going to be on our right. So... All right. right here. Pull in. Oh, I like it. Nice and wide. <laughs> All right. All right. I still want to go see that pond. Okay. All right. Table, fireplace. Right. Let's set up and do what we do best. Okay, we made it to our next campground. Yes. Here inside of Everglades National Park. I don't see no crocodiles yet on no pants. Not yet, but um, I see a lot of people here. It is. We got a nice big wide campsite. So what we're gonna do is show you our setup that we're using today. We're using the cube. We know Motor Ramblings, Patrick of Motor Ramblings, asked about he wanna see this cube setup or something similar to that. 
Right. And we're going to set it up show you how easy it is. Now, the thing about it is if you have a cargo trailer and already have it 10 by 10. 10, yeah, 10 by 10. 10 by 10, easy up. Just buy the cube. Your camp set up like that. Right. Now, obviously, if you motor camp and you don't have this, you want a smaller tent. This give us a 10 by 10 huge area. So we're going to show you how easy it is to set up, how quickly you can set it up. It's going to take a while because we video, so we're going to probably give you different camera angles. But if you just watch somebody video how quick these things are set up, quick as you can set your easy up, then you just hook the cube at the top of the tent, put everything together, and put your guidelines, shake the tent down, and you are set. Then so we're going set, you're done, and we're going to go alligator hunting when we're done. So if one of us don't come back, <laughs> that means... Your honor. <laughs> that means I didn't go. Your honor. <laughs> that means she went by herself. He did it. Uh, you don't want to say we going alligator hunting. He, he ain't going did nowhere. It, your honor. He pushed me down because I was faster than him. So let's get our stuff out. We're going to get it out. Set it up right in this open space right here. It's nice and soft already, too. We like to camp so, around a lot. More than I thought we was gonna like it. Kind of remind us of camping out in the deep woods, except you got neighbors. Why you talking to the camera? Not. I'm going to check to make yeah. sure the What's grass it? is not no she, rocks or sharp objects. One thing we always do since we actually doing a tent camp and we're gonna be on the ground. So just making sure everything nice and smooth, nothing that's gonna penetrate our floor. But if you was thinking about getting a cue, these things are fantastic is normally what you see attached to patches when we do our no, full setup no, and we're no, going to no. stay somewhere at least four or five days minimum we stand here five days then we go and camping again we 20 days total so 15 more days after this before we start our trek back to california completing our one year vacation tour around the usa so From we're going to get the stuff to get started in the usa so I've checked and double checked. We're resetting the tent up. There are no sharp objects in the in the grass over here. So we should be good with setting up. And also I double checked just that area right there. There's no alligators in there. So we're safe for now. All right. Here? Yep. Yeah, it's kind of wet. Open it up. And it's gonna be pretty quick. I say only thing once we once we get the cube out, we just gotta figure out which way we want the door to face. Thing. And we're gonna have the door face in the table, right? Yeah. So let's turn it square. Yeah. Well, I don't have to be square. Matter of fact, get it a little bit away from the fire pit so we do our campfire. So this one is the kind that you go out, gotta go under and hook up. And I'm gonna go under and hook up now instead of waiting until it get tall. Click it up. And now the next thing all we gotta do now. Let me pull this side down over here first. Okay, set it up right. Well, you can see it got a little wet from our last camping. So we thought we had it dry, but we aren't expecting any rain today, so we should be all good. So in most cases, what we would do is we would get the cube and hook it up now. Mm. Hold on, let me come so you guys can see us. We would get the cube and hook it up now, and all we gotta do is lift the legs, spread the cube out. What we're gonna do here, just lift it up one leg high, and then put the cube in there. You can do it any way you choose to, it doesn't matter. So let's go up one. simple and it goes with any 10 by 10 easy up and I think they had they may have some for eight by eight I'm not sure now what we like the most about our cube is did this click all the way did we click these yet you click them then you want to do these yet first yes yeah, click Okay, now, instead of putting it all the way up and then have to get on the stool, which I don't think we have no stools and bubbles. You can see we don't have patches. 
yeah. to get all the way up the stool is easier to get the cube which is a tent is folded so right connected up here and then we just have to span everything out so and this is a straight leg a straight leg easy up not right. the slant because the slant will be it'll come tapered out so yeah. that won't be good for the cube that we have okay here's our tent it's actually a cube. We're gonna unfold it. The only problem with this is when you finish camping, folding it back up. Well, we didn't got used to it, so it became pretty easy. So we need to find out the door. where is the front. It doesn't matter if, I have opening right here, baby. It doesn't matter if we get the front wrong and we just happen to put it on the wrong side. We can just easily lift this up and turn it around. This is one of the reasons we don't want to put it all the way up high. But well, let's get the four corners. So you gotta take your time. Get the four corners. That way it is easier to find the center. And there it is. These four hooks are the center. And now I can, I can actually reach it and hook them up. It's an easy, Clip on to the easy up. Yes. And while he's doing that, I'll let the wire, the rope down for staking it down. So now with that set, let me get out here so you guys can see me. I can lift it back up. Just one click. Do that. One side is one click. Now, so as you look at it like now, when you look at it right now, it's basically set. The rest of it is pretty simple also. We just hook it to the legs and lift it up or lift it up first, then hook it to the legs. A lot easier. And then we obviously be hooked to the top of this also, which I am gonna do right now. Click one. Next corner, click. Let, let me see if I can do a little click and let me see <laughs> if I can reach the top. <laughs> well, we can always bring it down. Yeah, because we have to. And we're clicking these on. We'll bring it down a little bit so we can click, make sure all of them are click in a perspective place where they're supposed to be. Uh, I know you guys can't see this, but we're clicking them on to the four sides of the easy up that slides out. And then we're gonna put the legs all the way up and finish from there. How you look on that side? You have two hooks that you gotta hook on top. Now that we have all this up, what we're gonna do is just lift it up, finish it, setting it up, and we are done outside of just putting our equipment in and getting ready for a great night. We have our exit coming toward the table, and this is one of the cubes that have entrance and exits from two sides. Well, we got a lot of oak leaves in here from previous camping. Right here, and then all the way through is the exit. And then on the side, I'm not gonna tie this on the side until we lift it. Cake? Hold on a second. Okay. Done. Okay, that's too high for me. I can't reach that. All right, we can lift all the way up. All the way to the max height. So we're gonna just lift it 10 by 10 to the max height. And you're gonna see how much room you have to play. And as I said before, this is you, an avid camper and you're going somewhere, let's say a, a good weekend capture. This is excellent for car camping. So if you go on a car camping, you don't have to worry about the little small tents. You want to use one of these. Now, if you're a camper with motorcycle, if you're motorcycle camping, all you have to do is just, let me bring the camera closer. Basically, that's it. 
the next thing we are doing right now is just attaching the cube to the legs of the tent of the 10 by 10. now if worse come to worse let's say there's a storm or something coming in with our equipment in that side we could use that and easily have it set ready to go until the storm pass and then we could get inside and start staking everything down I don't know which brand this is, but there are several brands that we can use, that you can choose from. We had this one, oh man, I don't remember how many, how long we had it. That shouldn't have been that long, maybe two years, not the most. Two years, about two years. Okay, here is our cube all set up. Like I said before, you've probably seen it when we have it attached to patches, but it's nice. Got these green indigo looking <laughs> guidelines. There's our table, fire pit. So as I go inside, it has a dual entry and exit or exit into however you want to do it so go in here 10 by 10 easy up There's the easy up there and the cube lots of room to maneuver around do we want to matter of fact let me back up because our chair set up our bed or air mattress and the great thing about this is the room look my hand can't even touch the top and I'm six foot tall. Now I'm playing. <laughs> and each of these windows, once this is closed, actually you don't have to close it, comes down. So you can use it as a screen room if you have a different tent or something like that. And it actually comes all the way down and you can roll them up and tie it with that. There's my seat bag. And then you have these grand windows here on both sides that rolls down also. Like I said, you can use it as a screen room. And it's the opposite end. Well, we're not actually exiting this end, but that's the opposite exit. Our motorcycle boots. And we use it to our advantage. Here's the, the other big window that we can actually roll down. And obviously we made it fit for us. When we only camping with this, like, watch, let me show you. We got Velcro, industrial strength Velcro here that we put here. I think in each corner, yes, Velcro strip there. And I'll tell you why we got it there. One up here, we actually had two in the ceiling, but one's there. And we got one on each of these windows here, but I don't think they're on the end. But what we use them for is this. This is the light we use. Actually, we have several of them. Pick them up from any hardware store. I think we got out from Home Depot and chargeable. You can recharge the light. And it's strong, super strong magnetic strip. Probably the strongest one we ever seen on any lights. And right here, we put Velcro here so we can just attach to any one of these Velcro strips. We just kind of had it here last night. Of course, we have backup flashlights and lanterns and stuff like that. But that's just basically inside. Pretty big. We love it. Of course, you know we're not camping with patches today. We are out. There's Kate cleaning stuff off right there. There's our fire pit. Let me show you guys it from the opposite side. It looks even on both sides. There's campers across the street with a little puppy. And there it is from the opposite side. So it's basically a basic 10 by 10 easy up. I think the brand cube we have is a Walmart brand with Ozark Trail. And it's, we like this one because it's pretty cheap. And obviously we don't use it when we're doing a heavy camping. But I hope you like it. 
go ahead and pick you one up. And obviously, like I say, car camping and motorcycle camping if you have a cargo trailer. Anyway, that's all we have for right now. So if you're out riding, remember, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, and most importantly, ride safe. For Boosting Jeans Riders, I'm Rich. And I'm Kate. And we out. Peace. Peace.